I'll have to tell you the opening ceremonies were really quite a remarkable experience. Uh, uh, being in the stadium uh, and watching uh, all the different elements uh, of the performance was really uh, fantastic. good it, it has done, I think was for, was for the athletes. I think it gave them a great sense of confidence. I have never seen an Indian contingent walk out with the confidence that, that, that they did, uh, both in Delhi and in Guangzhou, because they just looked so happy and they just looked so confident and they looked that they had one billion people behind them. I attended, for example, the 400 meter race by the Indian uh, women's race, which was absolutely fantastic. I mean, you know, Nehru Stadium, the roof nearly came down. They've taken the lead here. What a leg by Bamloa. Unbelievable performance by her. India in the lead. I think she can. Mandy Kaur is going to set the stadium alight. The Indians are the champions. What a story for the Indians. The, the thing that struck me most in the games was the Indi, Indian athletes. Last night in the 4 by 400 in the discus, the 800 meter runner, there is a, a potential for athletics there that really is huge. So I think people will look at India as a, an emerging sporting powerhouse you know, over the next 20, 30 years. It's kind of a dream come true coming to games of this nature. You sit as a child and you watch people compete at these games and you never really know that you're going to end up there. I didn't really know what to expect but the village is amazing, there's so much to do and the food's really good and training facilities are so convenient because it's just around the corner for me. Especially the training venue and the competition venue, they're fantastic, the best I've ever seen really. From our perspective, the venues are working quite well. Always one or two little issues, but it's a shame that people tend to dwell on the difficulties rather than on the positives, and there have been a lot of positives here. The media always manages to blow things out of proportion a little bit, so um, I knew it wouldn't be as bad, but yeah, I found it surprisingly lovely. <laughs> Only the people that are kind of working in the village um, who are really, really nice. Everyone that I've met so far is just so helpful and friendly and um, it's a really nice atmosphere. Very good food. Beautiful, thank you. All you can judge is, is that at the moment everybody's happy. All the athletes are very satisfied with the security. Certainly the security is the toughest I've ever seen, ever. I went to the Sydney Olympics, the Beijing Olympics, and the security here is absolutely formidable. Well, certainly Delhi has been a net beneficiary of a lot of infrastructure. Uh, and my hope is, I, and, I, and when I say this, I, I really mean it, because you have such really good infrastructure now on the sports side, I hope it gets used uh, going forward into the future, because I think that's very important. To, the legacy dimension uh, of the infrastructure for the games, uh, very important. Of course, the stadiums that are going, you know, have been built, I believe, are going to become not only symbols, okay, for how far the government you know, values sports in this country, but they are going to become instruments for developing more skills, encouraging the youth to take on more sporting activities. I think going forward, Delhi and India can only be better in sports because they took on and organized the Commonwealth Games in the way they did. <laughs> Um,
Oh, my God. 